Time for minor league baseball here on the show as we set our sights on the double A Eastern League. We've got baseball on the 4th of July between the Akron Rubber Ducks and the Bowie Bay Sox. Digging in, Ernie Clement, and we are set for baseball here this evening. Two and two now. Expected to get a little cooler as we go on, but the temperature at game time, 68 degrees. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side, but this is back into the seats of foul ball. Even at two balls and two strikes, here's the pitch. High in the air, carrying well out to deep center. He leaps, but he can't get it. It's down for extra bases. And he's going to try for three right out of the chute tonight. And he is in to third with a leadoff triple. Batting seven, the first baseman, number eight. Stepping in now, Andrew Monasterio. All even now, two and two. Runner at third here, nobody out. And that's low, so a good eye there as he works the count back full. Don't be shocked if he doesn't go right back to that same pitch. You could tell he jelly-legged him at the plate a little bit. Froze him, but just missed the zone. Only play will be to first as we'll see our first run score here as this is a one-nothing ball game. So digging in now, Tyler Freeman. Bases empty in front of him with one away following the RBI ground out. Now a swing and a little tapper to the left of the mound. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. Longo. To the plate now, Mitch Longo. Breaking pitch and this bounces in front of the catcher. Freeman, a runner at first with one gun in the inning. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Alexis Pantoja waits on deck. Fastball is taken for a strike and he runs it full three and two. I think it's a real possibility that they put that run on first in motion. That would help them stay out of that double play that would end the inning, but that's also kind of risky at the same time. Relay to first in time, and just like that, this side is retired. At the plate, Richard Arena. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. That's the ball. Richard. Tough to do much with that one, a swing and a miss. Hey, I think this is going to be the key to his success out on the mound. That good movement on that two-seam fastball is going to keep that ball in the yard and keep this offense on its toes. And a good throw gets him one gun. So striding forward now, Ryan McKenna. Bases are empty, one man out. Line drive snagged on a short hop. And there are two away now. So coming to the plate, Taylor Davis. No one aboard for him, and two gone here in the first. Hit on the ground is short. Fielded cleanly. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Now in the box, Alexis Pantoja. He went deep in the contest last night. The one-two. Hard hit ball to second. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. Into the box now, Alex Call, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. The one-two. Bouncer to the left side. He's got it. Throw gets him. Two down. Standing in, Kai Tom took an 0 for 4 in the victory last night. Two out, nobody on. 
And that one never threatened the zone. It's gone full now to three and two. Bo Taylor would be next. Lifted the other way to left center. Long run for the center fielder, but he won't get there. It falls in. In now, Bo Taylor. And that misses ball four, so it's first and second now with two out. Stepping in, Jeff McLeod. He had a couple of hits in that ball game last night. Here's the payoff pitch. Popped up. Ripken over to his right. And that ends the inning. Bottom of the inning now. And digging in is the outfielder, Cesar Avila. A 1-1. Now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right and that'll move the count to one and two now. And another foul ball. The next one two pitch. Nope at the ball. Takes this the other way to right. He dives. Did he catch that? He did. What a play there for the first out. Striding into the box. Ryan Ripken. He'll get to take his first cuts here. One out. Nobody on. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. He was able to sneak that fastball by him on three and one. So, so now we've got a battle on our hands. Down the left field line and deep. And that will end up a foul ball. Another full count pitch home. Popped high in the air. Panchoja over to his left. Makes the play and there are two gone now. Yuzniel Diaz is the next of bat. He did not play last night, but clearly back in the starting nine for this one. Here now the 2-2. Is swung on and missed. He got him. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Ernie Clement. He smacked a triple and later scored his first time around. And he got him. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Andrew Monasterio. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Diaz is there and he makes the catch for the out. Digging in for his second at bat. Tyler Freeman. Faces are empty here with two men out. Fouled away. And here's one that barely misses off the inside corner. Two and two. And a fastball. Called strike three, and the side is retired. Now to the plate, Ryland Bannon is back in the starting lineup for this one after sitting out last night's game. A 1 1. Waves and misses for strike number two. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. The 1 2. Is swung on and missed. He got him. Into the box now. Willie Yon comes Not off again. an 0 for 4 in last Nathan. night's ball game. Willie. The 1 1 home. Yeah. Nope, that's there. So you'd love for him to offer at that one, but the execution was flawless. Nice curveball that starts in the zone and breaks just out. Just a great take by the batter. Full count, three and two. Swing and a liner, but foul. Yeah. 
smoked on the ground up the middle. Base hit, and they're into the hit column. Batting up. The fourth up. At the plate, Mason McCoy swings through it for strike number two. Tried to fool him with the changeup, but he won't offer at it. Three and two. Not a bad time right here to put that runner in motion. Three, two count. You send the runner, and if it's a bad pitch, it's ball four. And he popped him up, drifting back behind first. Call in no man's land back there as he gloves it for out number two. For the plate now is the designated hitter, Richard Arena. Second at bat now. He grounded out to start the home first. The 1 1 home. Right side. Scooped up. And a close play at second, but the throw does beat him, and the side is retired. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Mitch Longo, comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Uh, had him off stride that time, and it's one and two. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Right fielder is on the run. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. In now, Alexis Pantoja. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. In the air out to left. Left fielder giving chase. He gets there, and that's the second out. Standing in, Alex Call. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Skied into straightaway right. Diaz will wait on it. And that will retire the side. Ready for another chance. Ryan McKenna. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Even at a ball and a strike. Here's the pitch. Pops this one up. Clement moving to his left. One away. Stepping into the box. Taylor Davis. He's 0 for 1 thus far. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. And he popped him up. Back into foul territory behind first. And nope, this one falls, so he'll get another shot. Swung on and hit pretty well out to deep left field. And that'll get down out there for extra bases. And he's in there easily at second with a one-out double. Now Avila. At the plate now, Caesar Avila. One and two now as that one's fouled off. And good take that time on a low breaking ball. Two and two now. He might have to look for a different way to put this guy away on 2-2. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times, so he might be looking for it. And that one never threatened the zone. It's gone full now to 3-2. and two. To third. A diving effort here as he gets a glove on it. And the recovery throw is too late, and there are two on with one away now. So now to the plate, Ryan Ripken. 2-2 two, two is a changeup that misses 3-2. and two. Hey, He threw that pitch with a purpose to get a double play. Good job to let it go by, though, as a hitter. Just hung in there on that one. Hey, you guys know me. Hitting's a process of elimination, and I'm eliminating the changeup this next pitch. I'm on everything else. 
Now oh, it's hit to third. Five. One there. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Stepping in, Kai Tom. It was a double for him in his first turn at the plate. A little bit outside, two and one. Hey, after the double in his first at bat, looks like he's trying to pitch around this guy a little bit. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Three one is a fastball, and he can't connect. Three and two. Swing and a drive to right. There it goes. Way out of here as it bangs off the gate. Standing in now, Bo Taylor. On the ground to the left side. Fielded cleanly. And they will get no. He's in there. A very close play at first. Now battle. The designated hitter. Into the box, wow. Jeff McLeod. And he comes back with a fastball. One and two now. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Ernie Clement. He'll look to bounce back after striking out his last time up. 2-2, here it is. Oh, and there's the good curveball as he set down on strikes for the second time here tonight. Digging in once again, Andrew Monasterio. He's bounced out and flown out in his first two plate appearances. And he just gets a piece there as this is chopped foul. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. The one two. Line, but speared on a hop. Throw to second for the force out, and the side is retired. Set now for the bottom of the fifth, and in with the bat in his hands will be Yusniel Diaz. 1-1. One, one. To two and two now. Not where he wanted that fastball to be, and it's three and two now. Count is full. Here's the pitch. Oh, and they pull the string on a good change up there as he swings and misses, and he's set down on strikes for the second time tonight. Settling in now, Ryland Bannon looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Close there, but he doesn't get the call with the breaking ball. Two and two. Here's one that misses inside, and the counts run full now. Three and two. Now a changeup just off the plate as that misses for ball four. So striding in, Willie Young, a base hit in his first trip. Line to the right side. In there, a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Now battle. Not your stop. Mason. In now, Mason McCoy. Now an off-speed pitch gets the outside. It's a cold strike. For the current campaign, McCoy is slugging a little under the 400 mark, so the chances of his connecting with the ball right here aren't particularly good. Pretty well struck high and deep to left field. A ball that's carrying. And just short of a home run, this ball's off the wall. And they'll hold that runner at third as everybody moves up a base, and they're loaded with one away. 
Juan Hillman is called upon to pitch, really needing that double play ball. Bases are loaded here with only one man out. At the plate, Richard Arena. And this is on the ground to short. Could be two. There's one. On to first. Not in time as the umpire was right there to make the call. Ready once again, Ryan McKenna, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. And it's fouled away. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Takes this the other way to right. Base hit, and that'll get a run in. Stepping in now, Taylor Davis. Hard hit ball to second. On to first, and that'll do it as they manage to not let this inning get out of hand. Sulser takes Good over to start the sixth inning on the mound. New inning set to get underway. And coming forward now is the shortstop, Tyler Freeman. The 1-1 home to short. Reined in. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Mitch Longo. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. Longo. Here's the 1-1. He pulls this one high and deep to right center field. And it's gone! to the plate now Alexis Pantoja maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball three and one now hitters count all the way here it comes comes with the fastball but it's outside for ball four ready for another shot now Alex call one in one out and one on here in the inning He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. No, that's down. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Digging in and looking for more. Kai Tom. Already a home run and a double for him in this one. Yeah, man, this guy flexed his muscles in that last at bat. We heard that he has good power. That last bomb had to go well over 400 feet. He hit it a long way. Sent on the ground out to second. He'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. of the sixth inning now and standing in the outfielder Cesar Avila from the windup the 1-1 one, one pitch Ball, that's inside. took a good cut that time it comes up empty two and two And now this ball's lifted in the air down the right field line, but this will get back into the seats, so the count holds at two and two. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. Digging in, Ryan Ripken. He was a double play victim last time around. The 3 1. Both teams with six hits so far. Now a swing, and he pops him up. This is right out in front of the mound. And he'll stay with it to put it away as they get their man here for the second out. 
Striding in once again, Yuzniel Diaz. He's hoping to avoid the hat trick. He struck out in each of his first two plate appearances so far. And this one runs a little too far in, ball two. A couple strikeouts early in the game, but he's done a much better job in this at bat, trying to get ahead and put himself at a good hitter's count. Three and one to him now. Now the pitch. Hit hard to third. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Tyler Irwin is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 47. Seventh inning ready to roll, and next to hit is the catcher, Bo Taylor. Now here's the pitch. Lifted down the line in left. And this will wind up a foul ball. The one two. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. Now the three and two pitch pulled toward right center field. McKenna is to his left as he puts it away in the alley for the first out of the inning. Striding forward now is the DH, Jeff McLeod. Yeah. McLeod. Now the 2 1. He's in there for strike number two. Wow, not sure what you're looking for right there, but that one was pretty much middle, middle, center cut. Tough pitch to take. Hit to first. Scooped up. And he'll step on first himself for the out. So the lineup flips over and digging in. Ernie Clement. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Line to the right side. And a knock for him this time. He's two for four for the game. The first baseman, number eight, Andrew Monasterio. Standing in now, Andrew Monasterio. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. Right at the third baseman, and that'll end the inning. For the traditional seven inning Now at the plate, Ryland Bannon, 0 for 1 with a run scored thus far. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. Longo, a range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the first down. Now batter. Into the box. Billy Yon. He singled his last time up. Yon. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. Changed up on him and dropped it in for a called strike. In the dirt, but swung on and missed. And the throw is made to record the second out of the inning. Stepping into the box, Mason McCoy. He's one for two in this one. And a good take there. Close, but it's two and two. Swing and a miss for strike three. Hold the string on him that time, and the inning is over. Reed Love has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 19. Three. Stepping up to the plate, Tyler Freeman. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Sitting in a good spot right here. Two ball, one strike count is yet to see a fastball. Have to be sitting on one right here. Grounded to short. 
Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Now batting, Mitch Longo. He's working on a one for three thus far. This one, everything we could have hoped for, three to two in inning number eight. Fastball, close, but he didn't get it, two and one. Strike taken up in the zone. Hey, it looks like this guy's going to work in the upper part of the strike zone. It'll be interesting to see if this lineup can adjust to the way he pitches. And this will be fouled away. The 2 2 one more time. And he fouls this one off. Set. Here's the 2 2. Too high. Ball three. Looked like he tried to elevate a fastball on that 2 2 pitch there, but kind of overdid it. With a pitch that high, it's pretty easy to lay off if you're the hitter. Hit hard, but foul to the left, and they'll try it again. Payoff pitch one more time. Down the third baseline. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. Another one sent foul. And he finally puts him away here as he strikes him out after an 11 pitch at bat. Ready now, Alexis Pantoja, 0 for 2 on his line thus far. The 1 1. Hard hit to first. Right to him. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Robert Broom is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 37, Robert. Richard Arena will be the first one to greet him here as he'll be forced to turn around and hit from the left side now. The one two misses ball two. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at bat here. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Longo is over toward the line a bit as he takes it for the first out. Now at the plate, Ryan McKenna. He came through with an RBI single in his last at-bat. Bases are empty, one man out. Rip down the first base line. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again, three and two. You're lucky if you get one pitch a night right down the middle. Cannot be late on that fastball. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. How about it? The pitcher. Three and one, here it is. Hit to short. Fielded cleanly. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. set for the start of the inning and next it'll be the outfielder Alex Call count even at two and two it's going to be back to some serious T work if he can't put that pitch in play right in his wheelhouse uh, two two fly ball out toward left center field. Avila is there and he'll bring this one in. Now Coming back. to the plate now, the Kai field. Tom. He was a ground out victim last time up. Oh. 
No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Never tempted to swing at that ball down low. It's ball three. And a left-handed batter waiting on deck, though there's a good shot he might get pulled back. That's lifted the other way out to left. Avila is in his tracks now as he makes the catch for out number two. Now at the plate, now, Bo that. Taylor. He number enters this at bat one for two with a walk. Three. One thing that could nag at you as a pitcher is having to work really hard to get a guy that you think you should be able to cruise right through. He's not known for his offensive prowess, but he's putting together. Well, the play's been made, and that retires the side. Kirk McCarty enters the game to finish now, this one off here in the bottom of the ninth. Number 25. Kirk. Ball set for the bottom of the ninth. And next to bat will be the outfielder, Cesar Avila. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Again, he sends it out of play. He was looking for a swing and a miss breaker right there, but left that one in the zone that got fouled off. Curveball just about blung him up, but it's to two and two. Tried to work in the backdoor breaking ball there for a strikeout, but he just couldn't quite get it to come back to the corner. That's a really tough pitch to hit if you can spot it. Now that the first baseman. Into the box now, Ryan Ripken. And a bunt attempt misses, so he's behind now, one and two. That's not great form right there, but you can't be surprised. A lot of these guys were not asked to bunt coming up through the minor leagues, so don't expect every sack bunt to get down. To two balls and two strikes now. Lucky he got a piece right there. He was definitely late on that pitch after seeing a previous off-speed pitch. Quick check on that tying run at first. Don't want to forget about it. And again, a throw, keeping particularly close tabs on him. The 2 2 one more time. Hit back up the middle. And there's his first base hit in this one. Into the box, Yuzniel Diaz. And he misses ball four. So now that potential tying run scoots up 90 feet to third base. So a big moment in the ball game here. Ryland Bannon as he's got a chance to be the hero. Tying run at third, winning run at second. Look out. Don't want to hit him there. It's full three and two. We can't hear it from here, obviously, but I think someone in the dugout just yelled, wear it, because that could have been a run. Taylor is calling for it. Coming to the plate now, Willie Yon. He's got the potential tying run at third, the winning run at second base. The 1-1 home takes a pitch for strike number two. Now a 58-foot curveball that misses for a ball. Hey, this isn't going to be an easy save. These guys are making it work for this one. The 2-2. and winning runs on base here with one big out. Down the left field line and deep. And they do in fact let it land foul. Very smart. 
swung on and hit deep to left center. This one has a chance. Gone! Santa Maria, game over. Man, I guess a regular walk-off wasn't enough for him, so he blasts a grand slam in the final of bat to win this thing. I've seen a lot of things in my day, but that was something very special. Well, the lineup was clicking for him in this contest, and the man you see there was a major contributor. For that, he's the top player of the game. When you walk up to the plate and hit a walk-off tater, you're probably going to be the player of the game, and that was a clutch swing of the bat, and he'll be riding high on that one for a while, I'm sure. Tonight's comes to an end, 6-3 to three the final. Bowie get their 20th home win this year. Reed Love wins his fourth game out of the bullpen this year. So that's a wrap for us here tonight. For my partners in the booth, Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. And for more, click over to theshownation.com. Here now is our final line score. First for the victorious Baytox. Six runs, nine hits, no errors. They left five men on base. For the Rubber Ducks, three runs on seven hits, no errors. They left six men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 14 minutes.